Hi, this is Alessandro from Sonora Cinematic. Welcome. Today I want to show you a way to route the different mic positions available in Poyas's cello or in any other virtual instrument for that matter into separate audio channels so that you will be able to process them as separate audio tracks within your digital audio workstation. Now we are going to use Cubase 11 today but please don't worry if that is not your DAW of choice because this is very much a contact thing rather than a digital audio workstation thing. So whatever is your door of choice, you will be able uh, to replicate the same workflow. Let's get started. Okay, you see that I have here open the textures patch from Poyes's cello uh, here in contact. And I was playing a little bit with the different mic position, just a quick refresher. The first one is the pre-render stereo mix, and then you have large diaphragm condenser ribbon mic, and a small diaphragm condenser. Uh, okay, so, uh, it comes loaded in uh, this way and to get the outputs section in contact you need to go over here and make sure that this one is ticked. Uh, this is important otherwise you won't be able to follow along. And if I play here now you'll notice that my signal is going through uh, stereo one. Uh, now the different mic positions are mono signals uh, so I think in order to have the maximum control the ideal choice here would be to have one stereo track that we can route the uh, mix signal uh, to and then three mono tracks uh, to load the three different mic positions and um, process them separately so let's do exactly that. Okay to do that if you click on the uh, plus sign on outputs. Um, basically, this is exactly what you need. The number uh, of channels you want to because it's a stereo track and you want just one of it because we only have one stereo signal. And host output, you can put uh, contact stereo one, which is the default one, and make sure that you have ascending output assignments uh, selected so that you'll get uh, one and two automatically mapped uh, to the stereo channel. And one thing that I like to do is also delete existing channels before uh, creating new new ones uh, so that basically all these pre-made preset which uh, two stereo tracks and one surround track and another stereo tracks track uh, gets uh, gets deleted so you can press on ok and here you have it you have your first stereo track which we can call mix because we want to route the mix signal uh, to then we're going to do uh, the same again but we're going to create uh, three new channels three new tracks but j with just one uh, as output channel as a number of channels because we want three uh, mono tracks and this time I won't uh, select delete existing channels before creating new ones otherwise we're going to delete the stereo track that we already created now as host output I like to use the unassigned one but I would recommend you uh, starting from uh, number two because I had an issue occasionally where selecting number one uh, gets uh, assigned to uh, the aux output in Cubase for whatever reason I think it's a little uh, bug uh, within contact uh, so let's uh, start from uh, number two and this time I won't be um, uh, deleting existing channels before creating new ones otherwise I will delete the stereo output that I just created and we can create uh, we can click on OK and here you have um, 20, 21 and 22 selected as outputs and here I'm gonna call those LDC and then RBN and SDC there you go now the available outputs uh, appear here but you'll see that it's still um, not updating and in fact you do need to update contact by uh, clicking on this little uh, exclamation mark and now you'll see that it gets automatically uh, routed to uh, whatever is the channel mapping that uh, that uh, you want now uh, uh, Puyas Cello actually comes uh, panned, uh, pre panned like that as a default to reflect the stereo mix. Um, I comment click on all those pan ups so that they return uh, into center position. If you're on PC, that's a uh, control click. And let's make sure that we activate all those mic positions um, so uh, that we can hear the sound. Now you'll notice that if I play anything, we're still gonna hear only uh, the first channel and the other three you can we can see that they get routed to the three signals but we can't hear that and that's because we need to uh, set up the outputs in Cubase first let's do that next 
Before we get back into Cubase and we assign uh, the outputs, one thing that you can do is to uh, save uh, this as a preset for the outputs so that any uh, instance of Poyesis cello that you want to open and you want to process this way, uh, you have it already available. You don't need to do this again, which is pretty nice. You can save output section preset as, and I'm going to call it Poyesis cello, although I already see that I already have it saved. So I'm just going to name it the same and override it and replace there you go and then again you can go in cubase and you can either uh, make sure that you have the right zone open and do it from here or you can do it straight from the inspector on the outputs uh, we see that we only have available the first one uh, right now but we also want one two and three which are the three other outputs in contact that we selected and you see that you get all the all the signals. Oh, sorry, uh, I said that we're, we're going to use uh, uh, two, three, and four rather than one, two, and three. So that's what's happening here. And now you have all the mic position and separate tracks. So now I can call this one mix, and then the next one would be LDC, and then RBN, and then SDC. And now I can mute them. And then I can pan them independently. I have my mixer on the top screen over here, so I can, you know, play with the panning. I can probably mute the mix and, you know, create my own mix. And then I can use different reverbs uh, for different mic positions and use different EQ settings and uh, different uh, compression settings if I want to do anything like that. It's pretty useful. I use it all the time and I really hope uh, it was useful. But yes, this cello is still on intro uh, sale. We decided to extend the intro uh, pricing um, until the end of the big Black Friday sale. So you'll still be able to get it on Sonora Cinematic for £79 a V. Uh, included and thank you so much for watching i really hope this was useful and i'll see you next time